So Ed, I have to ask the question, why should we be recycling spark plugs? Well, we should be recycling spark plugs for a lot of reasons. You know, one of the main reasons is to take the pressure off of mining for certain elements that are used in manufacturing spark plugs. A lot of um, steel and nickel, and uh, there's copper in the spark plugs. There's precious metals, platinum, iridium that go into the manufacture of spark plugs today. We really need to return these to the uh, manufacturing uh, environment instead of throwing them away, letting them end up in the either landfill or lost to the steel making process. Uh, precious metals would be lost as a, as an example. We don't really want to see that happen. You've got hundreds of millions of dollars worth of iridium and platinum that go into the manufacture of spark plugs on an annual basis. And if we could recycle them annually, then we potentially can harvest those strategic metals and reintroduce them into the manufacturing cycle. That's, that's the main reason. The secondary reason is there's an economic benefit to it. Third reason is it lowers the carbon footprint for primary mining of those metals. And those are all just super, super valid reasons. Right. So let me ask you, you brought up the precious metals. You, you spoke about iridium and platinum. How many ounces of iridium are being used specifically for the manufacturing of the spark plug? Well, in 2022, we saw worldwide about 48,000 troy ounces of iridium going to the manufacture of spark plugs. Uh, from the la latest data that we have, when you figure that at five thousand dollars a troy ounce, the cost that a manufacturer pays for the, these uh, for this element, that's about a two hundred forty million dollars of iridium that goes into spark plugs. Um, and let's not you know well, let's not forget also that there's platinum that goes into the spark plugs as right. well. There's another hundred four thousand ounces of platinum in twenty two that went into manufacturing spark plugs. At uh, you know current market price, we're looking at about ninety five million dollars worth of platinum. Wow! That went in between uh, the two. It's a significant amount of uh, metal. If you do that year after year after year, it really adds up. You get a ten year run. That's a ten x. Right. And that's that's fitted out there on the as we call it the car park. All the vehicles that are on the road today worldwide. So at the mine. How many ounces of iridium are mined annually? Oh, well, you know, it, it was higher a couple of years ago. I think a couple of years ago, we were looking at about eight and a half tons. I think we're probably slipped below seven tons now. It's, it's dropping. Right, because they have to go really deep to be able to mine that, right? The yeah, I, if I remember correctly, there's only a, f a small handful of mines in South Africa that actually has uh, um, quantities of iridium. And um, they're down pretty deep. They're down about a mile. And they're getting costlier every year. Right. And um, I understand that there's some um, closures coming in that sector. And we could see some significant curtailment in mine production of iridium. So that makes the spark plug recycling pretty crucial for the upcoming hydrogen economy that we've been hearing about a lot lately. That's right. And the use of the iridium. Well, the, the iridium is used uh, in the uh, cracking of water to produce a hydrogen. And uh, they use uh, it as a, uh, a metal oxide on the surface of titanium anodes. And the number of anodes that are projected to be manufactured and consumed over the next five to ten years is astronomically ramping up. So what you're saying is the demand is going to far out see, exceed the actual amount that can be mined annually at the mine then. It the could. Ounces. It could. Yeah, it could. If we don't actually get into the repurposing of some of the, the iridium. It's funny, the iridium in other manufacturing um, operations is small amounts consumed and the majority is recycled in a closed loop system. So... It goes into this uh, process, um, comes out of that process, gets remanufactured, goes right back into the same process. So it's a closed loop. So there's really not any extra available iridium outside of other industrial applications. Uh, so this this iridium for these PEM electrolyzers has to come from somewhere. And, and uh, you know, we, we believe that uh, we can put a pretty good dent in it worldwide if we are able to uh, 
begin recycling the iridium from the uh, spent spark plugs that are out there. Right. So I have to ask, based on what you've done your research on, how many spark plugs are out there globally? Oh, wow. Well, that's, that's a hard number. I, I know that uh, 630 million were manufactured last year, and it's projected to rise um, – through 2035 to a billion. What was that? A billion? A billion. So it's increasing. Right. Wow. And the reason it's increasing is because there's a, a greater demand for the uh, hybrids, which are a small internal combustion engine mm -hmm. vehicle with a, a battery electric. And uh, so there'll be f many more of those on the road in the next, what is that, 17 years, 16 years, something right. like that. And um, so I, I know um, the number of spark plugs will be increasing. But if you just look at 630 million manufactured last year that we have data on, 2022, uh, and, and we, we make an assumption that there's 10 years worth of cars on the road, well, that's right. a 10x. That is a 10x. Right? But the reality is there's more than 10 years worth of cars on the road Definitely. right now. Definitely. It's 15 to 20 years. Right, because people are hanging on Currently. to their vehicles longer just so because it, of it economics. Could, it could possibly be much larger than that here in the next few years. So f as far as the auto recyclers go, this is another value item that they could be it's one more add -on. collecting mm -hmm. and That's right. you know, yeah. recycling. And getting paid for. So let me ask, who is recycling spark plugs in North America? Well, we are. Noble Six is recycling spark plugs. We recycle them with a, uh, a patented uh, robotic system, high speed. Uh, in North America, there isn't anyone else. Um, Why is that? The labor costs are too high. It's just uh, prohibitive. Now, if you go outside of the industrialized nations and, and you look to cheap labor, there's opportunity, uh, say, in China uh, to employ people to cut them by hand, but that's not an industrial process. No, and no. Uh, you can't get through material. How, you, how are you going to uh, get through a, you know, volume? Volume. <laughs> You're talking about some serious amount of individual pieces that need to be cut. Right. Now, I don't know how you're going to do that with just labor. Yeah, that's a good point. 